Come on, lift up your Yeshua, Yeshua. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Somebody talk to him. We worship you, God. We bless your name, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, talk to him, child of God. Worship the Lord is here. Don't get tired. Don't allow... Don't allow him to pass you by in this minute here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. Come on, tell him, and yours is a kingdom, yours is a power, yours is a glory, and yours, and yours is a kingdom. Precious Holy Spirit, there is none like you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. And somebody clap your hands to Jesus and celebrate God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Our Father told us that our hands are for clapping, for, <laughs> for, 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 for clapping. Now clap well, clap well. 
Come on, clap well for Jesus. Come on, we shout, we shout. We shout, we shout. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to celebrate with joy, with clapping, with running, with... I don't know. Are you ready? Are you ready? Jesus said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So... <laughs> But this morning, the flesh is not going to hold us. Apostle Paul says, I, I, I put my body under subjection. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Are you ready to celebrate Jesus in this house? Are you ready? Some of you, when we celebrate, you are going to carry your things and leave behind. So that you can extend in front. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one, come on, come on, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I have Jesus in my life, living for his glory. I'm on fire every day. Quiet, I'm not hearing you. Quiet.
and you are getting bigger. Do you know that you can leave this place here and you realize there is an increase in your salary, an increase? Yeah. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Some of you, as you are dancing, listen. Some of you, as you are dancing, you are shifting. You are shifting to a right position in your life. Listen. Some students here, you are going to go to become number one at the top. Because you are getting bigger. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, we go. Bigger every day. Bigger every day. We're getting bigger every day. Bigger every day. No limitations. We're taking over. We're getting bigger. Before you sit down, some of you I want you to extend in front. Hallelujah. Help me prophesy to 10 people and tell them this morning, beginning from now, you are going to grow from glory to glory. You will not go down again. 10 people, 10 people, move around, move around. Move around. Listen. Listen, listen. Wait, wait. Some of the queer people should not go far. Queer people should not go far. And also, the men of God on the East they should not go anywhere. They should remain there. Somebody say amen. Can we clap for Jesus one more time? Yeah, just leave it, leave it, leave it. Let's celebrate God one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. How many of you are, how many of you are blessed? How many of you thank God you came? Before we can sit down, I want us to, in a special way, to, to honor the Lord for a special gift a father to a generation, a father to nations. Some of you don't know about you, but because some of us, we know what you are saying is true. That we could be lost if God did not give us a father. So I want us to first of all celebrate good for the father in the house. I want to just clap and thank God. Come on, celebrate with all your heart. Come on, clap and thank God. Come on, thank God for the gift. Thank God for the gift. Let me tell you, when I, when, when I met our father here, it is true I was ministering, but there was something lacking, I'm telling you the truth. But just coming I'm telling you, I've seen God do a lot of things in our lives. My wife is here, she can testify. We have seen the glory of God because of this anointing upon the man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know, what, I just want us in, one, in like two minutes. I, two minutes. I just want you to speak a blessing to our Father. Whatever God will put in your heart, whatever you want God to do for him, can we just pray for the for our Father, please? Whatever you want God to do for Him, 
Can we just pray for our father, Pastor Lucius? Can we pray for him and our mother and his family? Come on, let's pray for them. That the Lord will lift him. The Lord will protect him. The Lord will preserve him. The Lord will bless his children. The Lord will give him more years. God will give him more strength. God shall renew his strength. In the name of Jesus. That he shall never go down. He shall remain strong. Because when he is strong, we are strong. In the name of Jesus. We pray for blessings. We pray for divine health. In the name of Jesus. For more glory. For more power. For more glory. In the name of Jesus. 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 We declare your glory God. Upon your servant. That everywhere he stands. There will be a glory. There will be revival. In the name of Jesus. We pray for him. That his labor will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Even what he has labored in this night. That will remain for a long time. It will remain there. It will bring revival. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalms. 112 from verse 1. The Bible says blessed is the man. That fears the Lord. And greatly delights in his commandments. The Bible says his descendants shall be mighty on earth. And the Bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. And the Bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house. Therefore we declare that portion of scripture upon his servant. In the name of Jesus Christ. That wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endures forever. We decree in the name of Jesus that his generation is blessed. His siblings are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 And whatever wants to fight him, may God arise. Let all his enemies scatter. May God arise. Come on, somebody pray. May God arise. Let his enemies scatter. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Sataba, I feel the presence of God here very strong. Makataba de course. Lift up your hand and just speak in other tongues if you can. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba, Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, the saints and the angels, they bow before your throne. And all the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God. Time all the saints sing it. Come on, and all the saints and angels they bow before your throne, they bow before your throne. Lift up your hands, and all the elders, and all the they cast their crown, they cast their crowns before the Lord. Let's worship Him. Oh God, and one more time, all the saints, all the saints, lift up your hands. And all the saints and angels, and they bow before your throne. And all the elders, they cast the crowns.
on, let's worship the Lord. You are worthy of it I share the word that is somebody here. God, I'm seeing God begin to give you songs. Songs of revival. There's a worshiper here. God is giving, there is beginning from now. Oh, Master Fakaya, Devos, the fire. Songs will begin to come out of your belly. God is going to anoint you so uniquely in worship. He's going to give you songs. For a long time, when we want songs of intimacy, we go to get Nigerian songs, but I'm seeing God lifting you that you're going to record even songs. And when you record these songs, some of them will be even in a local language, but I'm seeing even people who don't understand the language being blessed because of the presence of God upon those songs. The one I'm talking to, there's a strong grace coming upon your life. There's a strong grace coming upon your life. God will give you songs. Right now, it might not look like it. It might not look like it. But as our Father declared, God is raising an army. And therefore, you are one of the people God is going to raise in an army of worship. I'm seeing God giving you songs. Sing God gonna give you songs. God will give you songs. And this is not her alone. There are three people here. That the Lord wants to anoint uniquely. Give you songs. 
from Zion. Listen, you, you not just speak writing songs, but you, songs will come in the place of intimacy. You'll be worshiping and God gives you new songs. They are three. Wherever they are, Lord Jesus, precious Holy Ghost, right now, Masuka Bahanda, Reteke Bahanda, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now. God will anoint you uniquely. He will anoint you uniquely. Uniquely. God is raising a voice in Bali of worship. God is raising a voice of worship in Eastern Uganda. And therefore right now, as I stretch my hand, everyone that is supposed to take that grace, Lord, may they drink it right now. May they take it right now. From the left to the right. From the right to the left. In the name of Jesus. Right now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. Take it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mela Costa Vahaya. Sivramanda Kovra Inta Navaya. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. I just want to, to share the word quickly. I'm requesting the people working there to help me in the, on the projector quickly. We do something quickly together. Amen. Are we ready? Are we ready for the word? I'm saying are we ready for the word? Worshippers don't go far in time. I I can, anything can happen. Amen. First of all, I want to thank God for, again, for our Father and the Lord, for the word. And also, I want to bless God, again, for using him in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy? Are you happy? Hallelujah. You know, we grew up, some of us, we had dreams, and God spoke to us. We are going to it's many things, but we do not know how we can reach there. Until God had to bring a man of God who can give us direction. Are you getting what I'm saying? Last, two, two, two weeks ago, I was, I, I, I was in Nairobi. I had a conference in Nairobi in Easter. And uh, I called our father in the Lord and I said, Papa, please pray for me before I go. I, I, I fear God. I, I tell you the truth. The time I called him, I was even in the compound. Somewhere, not even in the house. The moment he began to pray, I knelt down in the, in the compound <laughs> to receive the grace of And I'm telling you the truth. Even I was telling him that it was not like this, those days. Now you go somewhere and then you see that you are preaching with authority because you are under authority. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because authority is delegated power. Are you getting what I'm saying? So we thank God for our Father and the Lord. And let's celebrate God one more time for him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thank God for the year 2022. It's our first time to be in the Nagongera conference, which he always arranges in Nagongera. It's our first time to, it was our first time to go there, 2022, amen. I said amen. And uh, when I left that place, God gave me understanding about the presence of God like never before. Are you getting what I'm saying? When we came back in the ministry, we began experiencing the presence of God from that day up to today. Somebody celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> hallelujah. And uh, hallelujah. Today, um, my wife is here. I wish she would just come here quickly. <laughs> hallelujah. We came with worship who was born here. Worship has grown. He made seven months on Wednesday. So... We celebrate God, worship is around, amen? I know she will say hi to us, I think worship is busy. He's trying to, to get something to eat. Somebody celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> amen. When I, was, when, I was, when I was coming, there's something the Lord put on my heart, and when, when our father was sharing, I knew, I knew, this is what the Lord has arranged for us tonight, Amen. 
Hallelujah. When I was coming, I was, the Lord was putting on my heart to share about the presence of God. Somebody say amen. amen. And uh, I want to share something briefly about the presence of God. Are we ready for the word of God? Yes. Hallelujah. Now, when you come to the Bible, um, there is, there are three things. When you read in the Bible, in the book of Psalms 139, from verse 7 to 12, the Bible talks about the presence of God that is called the omnipresence. Amen? I just want to mention, to begin with, I want to begin, then I, I, I see where we can end. Now, the omnipresence is the ability for God to be everywhere. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 139, from verse 7, uh, if we can sit there, praise the name of the Lord. Can we read together? One, two, three, we go. Give us the King James. Give us the King James. Hallelujah. The Bible says, where can I go from your, thank you. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from your presence? Amen. Give us number eight. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. So you see, this is the omnipresence, the ability of God to be everywhere, even in hell. <laughs> Somebody say, eh, you see, you see that? Can you read together one more time? If I ascend up into heaven, uh -huh, thou art there. If I make my bed where? In hell. Behold, thou art there. So this is the ability. Now look at me. It's, it, this is the ability for God to be everywhere. But just because God is everywhere, he doesn't meet people everywhere. Are you getting what I'm saying? Just because God is everywhere, he doesn't meet people everywhere. So the Bible says, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Give us verse number nine. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even if you go in the sea, he's there. Now look at verse 10. Even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Give us verse 11. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Look at that God. That even darkness, <laughs> even in darkness, look at that. Can we together? One, two, three, we go. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, uh -huh, even the night shall be light about me. That means that when God appears, there is no darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? When God appears, there is no darkness. There's no darkness. Give us number 12. Yeah, the darkness hides not from the even, listen to me. The darkness cannot hide from God. But the light, the night, uh huh, shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. So with God, whether darkness or light, they are alike. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that is the ability of God to be everywhere. So we have what we call the omnipresence of God. I'm just going there. But it's not the one I'm going to lay uh, emphasis on. There's something, uh, there's something I'm taking you. Somebody say amen. And then number two, give us Matthew 18, 20. We have what we call the Emmanuel presence. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. The Emmanuel presence. Let me just talk about it quickly. Give us, uh -huh. can we do it together? One, two, three, we go. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Now look at me. As long, even if there are three, as long as they are gathered in my name, I will be there. So this kind of presence, you don't have to feel it. As long as you are gathered in his name, he's there with you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Matthew 1, 23. Matthew 1, 23. Matthew 1, 23. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. So, hallelujah. God is going to bless our lives. Can, can you see that? One, two, three, can we read together? Behold, a virgin shall be with a child 
and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name what? Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God. So that is what we call the Emmanuel presence, God with us. So that type of presence, you don't have to feel anything. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As long as you are gathered in his name, you don't have to hear shaking. You don't have to fear shouting. As long as you gather in his name. As long as in what? The most important thing in what? In his name. He will do what? He will be there. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. He will be in our midst. Now the army God is rising before I go to the third one that I want to talk about. The army that God is rising that like our father is telling us. This army what is going to help us to survive is the presence of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, the third type of presence, that I, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the Shekinah presence. I want to talk about the manifest presence, and then we pray. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Now, let's begin planning something. First Samuel 18, 12. First Samuel 18, verse 12. Hallelujah. First Samuel 18, verse 12. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. If you have your neighbor, make sure that you are a watcher to your neighbor. Don't be like Cain. Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? You know, when, when your neighbor is sleeping, sleep is contagious. It also spreads. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, when, but have you realized that when, some, when your neighbor is yawning, you, you, you also begin to yawn. <laughs> Hallelujah. So in, our father has given us authority. We can even go up to 10. Uh, but so be sharp. Uh, you know, amen in the house of God. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. What I'm meaning is let us let's just pay attention uh, what, what God wants to do with us this morning. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, can we together, one, two, three, we go. And Saul was afraid of David. Stop there. Now, Saul was a king. David <laughs> is a shepherd. Saul has an army. How can a king fear a shepherd? C can we read one more time uh, that first time? One, two, three, we go. And Saul was afraid of Derek. Sorry, I, 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 I. I, I you know, it's me, it's me now. Hallelujah. And Saul was afraid of David. How can, they, how can a king with an army, with, with guns, fear, fear a what? A, a shepherd boy. Who is smelling sheep? How? Okay. Can we go together? One, two, three, we go. And Saul was afraid of David. Why? Because the Lord was with him. That is the reason why David, I mean Saul, feared David. Why? Why? Why the Lord was with him? Because the Lord was with him. So David, Saul, did not fear David because, David, because he saw David that every battle that David was going, he was winning. And he began seeing, women began to sing a song. And they are saying, Saul has killed how many? A thousand. And then David, how many? Ten thousand. And then Saul knew, this guy here, when the Bible says, because the Lord was with him, it means because the presence of God was with him. This man was afraid of this young man because the presence of God was upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Lord was with him and he saw it. He saw it. He saw it. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Give me Genesis 39 verse 2. Genesis 39 verse 2. Genesis 39 verse 2. I'm just, I just want to give you some few scriptures anyway. We find a way we, we can pray. Hallelujah. Are we there? Can we see that? Can we together, one, two, three, we go? 
And the Lord was with. That is now. Listen. Joseph. The reason why the brothers hated him. Because the man. The Lord was with him. And the Lord was with Joseph. And the number two he was what? He was pro a prosperous man. Now when the Lord is with you. It is just a matter of time. Prosperity will follow you. Any time. Did anybody hear that? And the Lord was with Joseph. We go ahead. Uh -huh. And he was a prosperous man. Uh -huh. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. Even though the brothers tried to kill him, the Lord was with him. Even when, where he went, the Lord was with him. And he was prosperous, even in the land where he was not born. Why? Somebody said the Lord was with him. Somebody said the Lord was with him. Read verse, give us the verse 3. Uh -huh. look, look at that. I want to read very carefully. One, two, three, we go. And his master saw. Stop there. And his master saw it. So when we talk about the manifest presence, it is seeable. It is seeable. And his master saw that the Lord was what? With him. I prophesy to somebody here. From this night here, your enemies are going to see that the Lord is with you. I prophesy to somebody here. At the place of work, your boss is going to see that the Lord is with you. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that, uh, let's go ahead. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Papa told us about the hands. Some of you, because we, ha we have dedicated our hands, you're gonna, your hands are going to be blessed. Whatever you touch shall be blessed. Everything he touched prospered. Why? The Lord was with him. The Lord was with him. The Lord was, was with him. Give us verse 21, the same chapter. Even in prison. <laughs> 21. Verse 21 of the same chapter. Uh -huh. Can we together, one, two, three, we go. But the Lord was with Joseph. Uh -huh, and showed him mercy. Uh-huh. And I gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. So this man, everywhere he was going, he was favored because the Lord was with him. Even in prison, he was favored. Everywhere he was going, he was given leadership because the Lord was with him. Hallelujah. Because the Lord was what? With him. Hallelujah. The Lord was with him. The presence of God, the manifest presence is seeable. They see it up. And that's what we are going, that's what we need. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of us this morning, before we leave this place, there is something that is about to mantle your life. Oh, come on, somebody shout amen. amen. It is seeable. Beginning from today, you're not going to explain to people your God. People are going to see the God you serve in your life. I come on, somebody say amen. amen. You, you are not going to explain to people you see, you know, I am anointed. If you give me a party. <laughs> me, you see me, I'm a worshiper. You see me here, I'm a worshiper. You're not, you're not going to explain to people. The presence of God is going to be upon your life. And the reason why I want to, sh to share with you about this type of presence, because I want to share with you how we can access it. Briefly before we can pray. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because this, this kind of presence doesn't come. Our father has always told us. You know anything of value doesn't come just cheaply. Everything of value comes with a price. Are you getting what I'm saying? Everything of a value comes with a what? With a price. But the Lord was with Joseph. But when you look at Joseph's life. Joseph was a man who, lives a li who lived a life of consecration. He, he, he not allow, 
you know, the army God is rising. I can talk about this. Papa was telling us that righteousness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? Joseph ran away from sin and the presence of God. Because no man can move in the presence of God when he's moving in sin. It is impossible. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because there's a difference between the power of God and the presence of God. The presence of God is his gift. I mean, the power of God is what? His gift. His anointing is his gift. You shall receive power where the Holy Ghost has come upon you. But his presence is God himself. The Lord was, but the Lord was with Joseph. So the presence of God is God going with you. That's why when Moses, when Moses was, was asking God the question, he said, God, you have told me to lead these people, but you have not told me who is going with us. Show us, show me your way, that I may know you. God told them what? God told him what? My presence will go with you. In other words, myself, I'm going to go with you. You're not going to go with an angel. Because sometimes the children of Israel, when they were moving, it was the angel leading them. But Moses said, no. Who is going with us? And God told him, my princess. My, that means, myself, I'm going to go with you. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor. Hallelujah. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you one thing. When the, when we, the reason why we need the manifest presence of God is this. What does the manifest presence of God do in our lives? Number one, the moment the manifest presence operates in your life, number one, supernatural favor. The man was favored. The man was favored. But listen, instead of praying for favor, you need the presence of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible says in his presence, there is fullness. Not half, not a quarter. In his presence is fullness. This morning, yeah, I am praying to God. Some of you are going to be in offices with the presence of God. In schools, the presence of God. You know, we, we, pa Papa has spoken. We must have students here who are going to carry fire to their schools. And when they reach in that school, devil's agents are disarmed. Come on, somebody say Amen. So number one is what? Supernatural favor. The moment the manifest presence comes upon you, there is supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. The Bible says, let's read that one more time. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him what? Favor. Everyone who saw him, they had to love him. Are you getting what I'm saying? When the presence of God is upon your life, even those who don't, want, who don't love you, they will love you by fire. I don't know whom I'm talking to here. When the presence of God is upon your life, even those who don't love you, they will love you by fire. You know, there are some people in this world, you cannot deny them. Because the moment you deny them, tomorrow you will need food. You will need to go to Joseph to give you food. So there are some people you cannot deny them. And you are one of them. Oh, come on, somebody say, I'm one of them. Somebody lift up and say, I'm one of them. You are, listen, they cannot deny you. One man of God said, they can hate you, but they cannot hide you. <laughs> they can hate you, but they cannot do what? Hide you. Hallelujah. Somebody say, amen. amen. Number one, supernatural what? Favor. Let me give you number two. When the manifest prince operates in your life, the man face print is see but you see, you see it. He says, are you hearing what I'm saying? Number two, supernatural protection. Hallelujah. Supernatural what? Protection. Give us Psalms 3. Give us Psalm chapter 3 quickly. Psalms chapter 3. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 3. We're going to read together from verse 1. Psalm 3. Number 2 is supernatural protection. Okay. Are we ready? Can we see it? Even those who are sleeping, can you see it? Can you see it? Hallelujah. Help a neighbor who is sleeping. Please, and, 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 please, listen. 
if you feel like you are you are about to sleep stand stand up before i tell you to stand up you you, you better stand and fall we think it's the power of god but don't miss this don't, don't, don't miss this somebody don't miss this <laughs> hallelujah better stand and you fall we shall think power is falling but somebody say amen can we together one two three we go lord how are they increased that trouble me Many are they that rise against me. You see that? David was having people who are rising against him. Saul, King Saul and the army, they were many. They were very many. So David is saying, oh God, these people who have risen against me, they are what? They are many. They are many who, are who, who, who have risen against me. They trouble me everywhere. Give us verse 2. Many, let's see together, one, two, three, we go. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Can you imagine? They are saying there is no help for him. He's finished. Verse 3. Oh my God, that's powerful. Verse 3. Let's read together. One, two, three, we go. But thou, O Lord, art my shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you saying that? You say, God, you are my shield. Even though, they are, even though they are coming against me, but you are my shield. You are my glory. Somebody lift up your hand and say, Oh Lord, Lord, you are my shield. You are my glory. You are the lifter of my head. Say, they, 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 are, they are fighting against me, but I know you are with me. You are with me. They cannot manage me because you are with me. The presence of God. The manifest presence of God. Hallelujah. That's why he said in the book of Psalm 23 verse 4, he said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? You are with me. <laughs> you are with me. I don't fear anything. Why? Because he is with me. The Lord is with me. So I, I, I fear nothing. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear nothing. Because you are with me. Your presence, you are with me. You are with me. I cannot fear anything. Nothing can stop me because you are with me. It doesn't matter what I go through. I, I, and let me tell you the truth. Papa was mentioning about an army God is rising. Now let me tell you something. An army that God is raising, there is a shadow of death. I'm not scaring you, it's the truth. But what is going to help us is when he is with us. When the presence of God is with us. It doesn't matter what we go through. I'm telling you the truth. This is a time for revival. It doesn't matter what we go through. This is a time for revival. You know, in geography, the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. That is in geography. <laughs> hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Let me speak to your life today. And let me tell you the truth. Can I say something? Every time you fear the shadow of death, every time you fear the enemy to attack you, remain in one level. Because those attacks are the ones that take you to another level. So David said, I will not fear why he is with me. He's with me. He's with me. Hallelujah. We are not going to fear witches. Why? Because he's with us. I'm saying because he's with us. Some of you here, God is, listen, God is going to use you to pull down everything that has been fighting your family. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Why? Because God is with, somebody say God is with me. God. Say God is with me. God. Say I will not fear anything because God is with me. God is with me. God is with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Recently, when, 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 when we were in Toro, there's a, there's a place where we pray from. And when we entered there, they were, we found there, that school there, they were, they were bewitching it. We had some people who were bewitching that school. And, and many, some of them are in the staff. They are teachers. Are you getting what I'm saying? So they began to fight us. In fact, they, they listen to what they said. 
They said there is no church that has ever been there that they fought. For us, when we ended there, they began fighting us. Because when you're doing something, when they are fighting, listen to me, when you're when you are serving the Lord, what makes you, what, what um, helps you know that you're on the right track is the opposition. We don't have opposition, you're on the wrong track. If I, 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 when I came, I phoned Papa saying, if things are just saying, say yeah, yeah, say yeah, there is something wrong. So when we were there, we were opposed. And I called my father, I said, my father, they are opposing us. And I don't forget, but my father told me that those people are in your hands. That's what he said. He told me, I, I, I got faith. He told me that you can remove them from Job. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But for us now, when we are there, we began to pray. As we are praying, let me tell you the truth. This people are now, when, 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 when we continue to pray, to pray, to pray, their altars are demolishing. The school where we entered there, there was no electricity, and it's in town. There was no electricity. No there was no even boarding. But because we have been there, altars are being destroyed. There is boarding, and... <laughs> And, 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 and also there is electricity, there is boarding there. Now, these people who are fighting, we did not remove them. We, I wanted them to remain there and they see us being lifted. Now, let me tell you the truth. When I'm coming like this, Papa, when they see me coming like this, when, I, when, when, you, are, when you are going to meet, for them, they cross, they pass this, they, that there. They don't, they don't want to meet me. One time, there's a very big man who came and looked at me and said, you, you are a younger boy, you are lying to people. He cast you. You are lying to people. I also looked at him. I said, I'm lying to people. May God judge you. He said, you see, I'm also from that day the man feared up to death. Because I, I, I will never forget, Papa was telling us in the season of revival, we shall be confronted by witches. No jokes. But what we need is the presence of the Lord. When they come to attack us, we stand there and we say, in the name of Jesus, you cannot scare us. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? The Lord is with me. Saul feared David. Why? The Lord was with him. Big people, are going, listen to me. Witches are going to begin to fear you because the prince of God is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Some of you, as you are living this night, you cannot sit near a witch. You cannot even meet them on their way. The other day I was on the and Pastor Kaira was saying, even if I pass a witch doctor just by mistake, they die. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. May it happen to you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I get what I'm saying. One day I, I, I went somewhere. They, they, it is a woman who invited me to go to pray for one lay. For the, dot, for the son. She had had a, a, a fracture. When I went to sleep in her house, I did not know that the neighbor is a witch doctor. I did not know it. I didn't even pray. So I was sleeping. The following day, the witch doctor has to, to carry her, his things go. He was saying that fire was burning him. We are not just surrounded by fire. We are fire. We are fire. We are flames of fire. We are flames of fire. And let me tell you today, whatever you have been fearing is going to begin fearing you. Have, have you ever known that the people you fear, they also fear you? For you are fearing people, but they are saying, hey, let her not even turn to us. Let her not even look at us. Beginning from today, I prophesy to someone here, everything that has been fighting you, people who have been fighting you, they are going to see the fire of God in your life. Listen to me. Everyone who came in this night, the witch doctor cannot be your neighbor. Before me, like the papa was saying, for us, we, we, we love we, this doctor. We are, we are used, we are working together. But they are good people. These witches are good. Eh? You know, they are a good neighbor. He gives me some bread. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Eastern Uganda, this is the time. Mbale, see that this is the time. God is rising an army in this place. 
God is raising people in this place. We are going to take over in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the presence of God. We need the manifest presence of God. If there is something you desire this morning, let your desire be the presence of God. Let it be your desire. Let it be your desire. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Because what we, the, the wars that are coming around us, we need the presence of God. And remember in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. So when there is joy, you know, let me tell you, the other day I was, I was in Toro, and I was teaching, and I was telling people that if you, if you are a minister and you lack a joy in your life, ah, <laughs> the joy of the Lord is your strength. So you don't have, you don't have strength. Anything that comes will bring you down. The Bible says if you faint in the door of adversity, your strength is small. And the strength is small because you, you, you lack a joy in your life. The Bible says in the presence of God there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Someone here, you're about, you're about to receive a fresh baptism. The Bible says he, gi he gives you beautiful ashes. God is about to anoint you with the oil of joy this morning. Amen. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. So let, let, let me just share with us quickly, how do we access the, this manifest presence of God? Quickly, how do we access it? How can we get it? How can we go for it? How can we access it? Hallelujah. Are we ready? We just started, we learned something a few minutes, and then we shall be praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Number one, how do we access the manifest presence of God? Number one is passion for God. Somebody say passion for God. Somebody say passion for God. Listen, when many people, they don't have this passion for God, they don't have, they don't have love for God in their lives. The love of God in their lives they has grown cold and they go for other things. But one of the ways to get the manifest presence of God in your life is having passion for God, loving God. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, mind has not conceived. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The thing that God has prepared for them that do what? That for them that do what? That love him. There are things that God has only prepared for his lovers. Are you getting what I'm saying? And let me tell you, if God loves you, he gives you himself, not his gift. If God loves you, he gives you his presence. That's why he says, if you, in the book of John, he says, if you love me and you love my word, he says, I, he says we shall come to you and my father. That's what Jesus was speaking. We shall come to you, not sending anointing, but we shall come to you. So when God loves you, number one, he gives you himself. Blessed are they who hang and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Passion for God. Somebody say passion for God. Passion. Hallelujah. And someone this morning, before you go home, God is reviving your passion for him. Amen. I'm saying God is reviving your passion for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Passion for God. You love him. You know, there are people who love, uh, we have preachers who love anointing more than God. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. We have preachers who love what? Anointing more than what? More than Jesus. Some people, if you bring, man of God, if you bring a, a sack of money here. Hello. And then you bring Jesus here. And then you bring a Mercedes Benz here. They will say, I have suffered for long. And they will pick a sack of money. And they leave Jesus there. And that's why in this season where God is raising an army, there must be a revival of passion where people love God more than anything. Where you love God more than anything. There's nothing that you can, can take your place in your life. Passion for God. The reason why we, can, listen, we have a lot of men of God who are moving in the power of God, not in the presence of God. Because they love so much things of the world. They don't have passion for God. 
when you love God, the gift he gives you is himself. He will give you his presence. God does not give the, his presence to people who, don't, who do not love him. Who love his things more than him. Lord, I ha we have people who pray and fast because challenges have increased now. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. They pray. When, when, when problems come, they begin to fast. In the name of Jesus, this problem, they fast. And when the problem goes away, that means that they just come to Jesus, to God for something. But I'm talking about people who, who love God. As a deer panties for the waters, so my soul longs after thee. They, they are hungry for God. They love God. They love God. Hallelujah. They love God. They are lovers of God. They are lovers of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. They are lovers of God. And let me look at me. The one you love, you spend time with. If you say you love God and you don't have time for him. You know some people, let me tell you the truth. If you want to cut the praise of God, the praise of God comes at the price. People wake up in the morning and they are like, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am going to work. They are praying while they are going out of the door. Now as I'm going to work, your presence is going with me, your favor in the name of Jesus. They lock the door and then they go and they say amen. They say amen from the road. You can, listen, if you know that you are going to job early, wake up early. Spend time with him, with the lover of your soul. Let him put something upon your life. That when you reach at the place of work, people who are witches at the place of work, they will begin to vacate because you have come. Something goes with you. You are a banker manager, you go with something. You are a teacher, you go with something in class. Whatever you do, whatever you have something upon your life. But it comes at the price. Having passion for God. Loving him more than anything. Loving God. Having passion for him. Lord, I lift up your hand and say, Lord, I love you. Come on, lift up your hand. Even those who are sleeping, say, Lord, I love you. Say, Lord, I love you. Say, Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Passion for God. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are some people here right now as I'm talking. God is reviving your life for passion. You are going to love God like never before. I get what I'm saying. Some of you used to be on fire for God, but something happened to you. And it quenched the fire. May the fire be rekindled in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying may the fire be rekindled in the name of Jesus Christ. May God revive you today. May you love God like never before. And I'm telling you the truth. There are things that God has only prepared for those who love him. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are things that God has prepared for those who love him. If you don't love him, you cannot access them. You can't access them. Lift up your hand one time and say, Lord, I love you. One more time, say, Lord, I love you. You love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one you love, you spend time with him. Many of you in this night, I'm, I'm begging you the army that God is raising. As you are leaving this place, get some time and spend with God. Says, says, this time I'm going to read my Bible. This time, you can get even, okay, begin with 30 minutes. Say 10, I'm reading the word. 10, I'm worshiping. 10, I'm praying. Let it become a habit in your life. And when you do it for two months, my God, as you continue, something will happen upon your life. You realize you are moving and there is something God has put upon your life. I'm telling you in these last days in eastern Uganda, in Mbali, God wants to release the Shekinah glory one more time. There's a Shekinah glory. There's a Shekinah glory. And as Papa said, it's not only for pastors. Is even for nurses, for doctors. You are in the hospital and someone re fails to produce you you, you, you. you come under the cloud of glory and then the baby comes out. Me, I, rem I remember when we came here with my wife. Thank God we fell in the hands of a woman of God who prays. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? If he did not land in my hand, the hands of the man of God who prays, a midwife who prays, huh? with mommy Christian, they were there praying. Oh my God. And when the man of God, the Apostle Sam, I'm telling you, we are going to have problems. But thank God for the midwives who are filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for them. So number one, there must be passion for the for God. Passion for God. And let me go quickly because of time. Passion for, for God. Passion for God. Let me give you number two quickly. Number two, write it down if you're writing. Number two is intense prayer and worship. Intense prayer and worship. Intense prayer and worship. When you pray and then you worship the Lord. When you make it a habit that this prince of God will rest upon your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hello? Someone you, you can say, but for me, I don't have a good voice. You don't, need, you don't need a good voice to worship the Lord. It's your heart. If you don't have a good voice, get some. These days we have people who have sung music, put on music, and you begin to worship the Lord. Do it. Make it a habit. If you want to carry this manifest prince upon your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then number three, quickly. Number three is sacrifice. Somebody says sacrifice. Somebody say sacrifice. sacrifice. You see, there's a scripture in the book of Psalms. I don't know. Can you give it to us? Psalms chapter 50, verse 5. Psalms 50, verse 5. Hallelujah. Can you stand up and read when you are reading? Let's stand up and read when you are standing. Stand up so that you can, can help some people. Some people are sleeping already. Hallelujah. We are about to pray. Give, a, give unto us Psalms 50 verse 5. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. So, um, number three is sacrifice. Sacrifice. What is sac what is sacrifice of what? Sacrifice of prayer, fasting, studying the word, committing yourself. Hallelujah. The Bible says present yourself. You know, the first sacrifice is you. The Bible says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before the Lord. So sacrifice. Hallelujah. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Hallelujah. Let me just look for it here. Psalms 50, verse 5. Hallelujah. Psalms 50, verse 5. It has come. Hallelujah. Can we read together? One, two, three, we go. Gather my saints together unto me. Uh -huh. Those that have made a covenant with me by what? By sacrifice. So there are people who have, by the reason of their sacrifice, they have covenanted with God. Now I'm not talking, listen, I'm not talking about sacrifice with disobedience. I'm talking about obedience with the sacrifice. Because these days we have men of God and people who have missed, who have what? Who have replaced sacrifice with disobedience, right? So for them, they disobey, but they want to sacrifice. Me, God tells him, God, no, 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 Father, in the name of Jesus. They pray and fast, they are sacrificing. Are you getting what I'm saying? Say, gather my saints together unto me, those who have what? Who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. That means that they are men, by the reason of their sacrifice, they have made a covenant with God. Their sacrifice touched heaven, and God covenanted with these people here. Are you getting what I'm saying? God covenanted with them because of the sacrifice. And because of the, that covenant with him, there is something he put upon their lives. Are you getting what I'm saying? Men like, you remember the men like Moses. Moses sacrificed. One day I read a scripture in the Bible. The Bible says, Moses Went on the mountain. God told him, go on the mountain and be there. God never told him what he's going to do on the mountain. God told him, you go on the mountain and be there. One time we were praying, we were going to pray. Um, I was praying and fasting. Someone told me, what are we going to pray and fast for? I said, God told me we pray and fast. He never told me. Because when God is telling you, move, God will not tell you everything. 
God will say, left turn. You begin to go. The moment you obey, he will tell you the next thing. But the moment you begin to ask him, what, where am I fasting? He will not tell you the next thing. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Now the sacrifice they are talking about, these are people who have sacrificed with obedience. Something must happen. And that's why in this season of revival, there must be men who are, and women who are going to sacrifice through prayer and fasting. They are going to give themselves as a sacrifice. Some of you who fear fasting, may God give you the grace. I'm saying may God give you the grace. Some of you don't have ulcers, but the moment you hear fasting, you say, I have ulcers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today, even if you have ulcers, you are leaving that door of ulcers is not in your body again. Come on, somebody shout amen. amen. They have made a covenant with God through sacrifice. They sacrifice. They, are, they pray and fast. You can, my, my wife is there. You can ask me. I don't know how in the year, I don't know how many times I take breakfast in the morning. I just take waking up in the morning at, eh, at six or oh, eight, eight, what? And I'm eating bread, butter, ruban. I don't, I, I don't remember that day. Why? Because let me tell you this. Everybody stand up, please. Stand up. Let me tell you, everybody who is here, let me stand here tall. Everybody who is here, look, look at me and tell you something. Hey, people, stand up. Stand up. We are about to pray. Those aren't there. Listen. Everyone who is here, look at me. God is raising an army. But when God is raising an army, everyone, there is a consecration for you. And that consecration, when you look at the man like, a man like who? A man like John. A man like Elijah. They were supposed to be eating locusts and honey. So when you are a man of God and God is raising you as a healer, God is raising you in the prophetic anointing, you must be careful what you are feeding, what you are taking in. There's a consecration. Some of you younger men here, you have received the anointing. Some of you need to go, you need, you need to stop going to watch some movies. If you are going to, that's also consecration. Me, when God wanted to use me number one, he told me stop watching football. For you can be watching football, it's okay. Maybe it's part of your consecration. But me, part of, me, in my consecration, they removed it. That is not in my menu. I was watching movies so much. God told me, stop watching movies if you want me to work with you. And I stopped them. Papa, I will never forget there is one day a man of God, I was under him, we were praying. And we were organizing a service in the evening. But in the evening, the hour we are arranging a service, Arsenal was playing. And the man of God saying we are canceling the, the service because of Arsenal is playing. I'm telling you the truth. There are people who, such people, I say, God, what is happening? What is wrong with this? Say, ma, he said, son, just let us leave prayer. You know, Arsenal is praying. You need to know your consecration. There are some people who are supposed to live fasting, but they eat, they feast every day. There are some people that wake up, the Holy Spirit is convicting them, pray and fast. For them, they feast. They wake up, they eat eggs, they eat what? Bread, butter, everything. And the Holy Spirit is convicting them. So the Holy Spirit, until they quench the spirit in their lives. They eat until now the flesh is speaking more than the spirit. They can't hear the Holy Spirit anymore. So in the season that God, the army that God is raising, some of you need to understand your consecration. Some of you, as you live this night here, God is going to convict you. There are some things you must leave. That is consecration. The Bible says, if, if, if a, the Bible says, anybody who names the name of the Lord will depart from iniquity. And the Bible says, if you purge yourself, if you cleanse yourself from all unrighteousness, the Bible says, you shall be what? You shall become a vessel of honor, ready to be used by God. There are some things you need to leave now. Your consecration. Am I talking to somebody here? It is your consecration. Me, it was, God, God, me, there are many things God told me to leave. I left. There are some friends even told me, that, that one, don't follow that one. Some of you have a lot of friends, some of, and some of them, they're the ones who are dragging you behind. Every time you meet them, they are, they are telling you something. Can, can I tell you, Chameleon has bought a car. What is the problem with, what, 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 what does that build me on that? 
What does that build me on that? Eh? Bob Wayne is coming to Bali. What does it help me? What does it build me? Are you getting what I'm saying? So there must be consecration. Especially this morning as we are going to pray, as we, we summarize, I want us, some, the, the, the Holy Spirit is going to convict some of you there are some things we need to leave. Some of you go around to leave you like some of you are worshippers here. You know, I was telling somebody yesterday that when you are a worshipper, if you want to worship God in truth and the spirit, number one, you must die. Because worship begins at the cross. You must die. The problem, some worshippers, why they are worshipping and they don't see the glory of God is because while they are worshipping, they are people, they want people to see them. Uh, you see, my voice is good. Uh, you know, there is no one who worships like me. They have not died, so they can't see the glory of God. So they must die. Apostle Paul said, I've been crucified with the Christ, I no longer live. The, and the, the last thing, as you are serious, the last thing, if you want to move in the manifest presence of God, is meekness. You must have, you must be meek. The Bible says Moses was the meekest man on the face of the earth. You cannot carry the praise of God if you are proud. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. You know, in the simple terms, pride means to see you are better than others. <laughs> that is a simple definition. You see me, I'm a very be best worshiper. These others here, huh? they cannot manage me. I'm, I'm a giant. I, I am a hero. Somebody say hallelujah. So if you want to carry this man face praises, number one was what? Let's, let's go through it. Number one was what? Passion for God. Number two? What? Intense prayer and worship. Number three? Sacrifice. You sacrifice your time. Some of you who are here, like mothers who are receiving the anointing, God, God doesn't use mothers. Mothers have received the anointing already. Some of you, you need to replace that soap on TV with, with prayer time. There are some younger men here who need to leave some soap on Bukhead. Uh, for you, you cannot miss Agatari Kotaka. You see, there must be a consecration. I get what I'm saying. You can't miss Agatari Kotaka. For you know everything that is happening in the nation but you don't know anything that is happening in the spirit. You don't know even what God is saying, but, you know, when, when, when COVID came, I, I got tired of watching TVs. Eh? Every time you put on TV, now they have increased. Oh! Those things are breaking faith. Now they have increased. Now they are 1,000. Now they have multiplied. They are 3,000. Now, what, are, what, what is multiplying? What is multiplying? Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Reap consecration is very important. I'm emphasizing it's very important. Because why? God is rising an army. I'm saying God is rising an army. Amen. God is rising an army. Amen. Some of you need to replace that castle with reading the Bible. Get time and read the Bible. Read the word of God. For you, since you got born again, you only, John, you only know John 3.16. You even not have a revelation about it, but you know it. You, you even when you are quoting it, you, you stop on the way. You don't finish it. There must be discipline. When COVID came, some people were crying, but when it came, me, I disciplined myself. Every day, I used to read my Bible, 20 chapters every day. Sit in, my, in the house and read. People are eating drinking tea, taking porridge, me, I'm on the word. They say, you're not eating breakfast. I say, the Bible says you shall not live by bread alone, but by the word. I, I read, and I'm still reading because our mind must be renewed. If we want to move in this manifest presence, we need, our mind must be renewed by the word of God. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. There must be consecration. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? There must be what? Consecration. See here, sac sacrifice. Some of you, when you leave this place, sacrifice has begun. Prayer and fast. You will not die. Pastor, you know when I fast, the stomach pains me from this. Prayer and fast. Prayer and fast. 
Seek the Lord. Read the word. Seek the Lord. Follow his leading. Let God put something upon your life. Some of you have received something when Papa was praying here. Go, let it grow in your life. Not, don't leave this place and you go back and then you go and then you say, oh, thank God for the overnight. Some of you, when you leave this overnight, you're going to revenge. You're going to sleep and then you say, I'm not going to church even on a Sunday. You know, I got tired the whole night we were praying. There must be consistency. There must be intense prayer and worship. There must be prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. There must be prayer and fasting. There must be prayer and fasting. I would ready to pray now. We are going to get, I, 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 I need somebody here. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. And I'm requesting us, let's pray. We have a few, few, few time to pray with us here. And I want you to use them, utilize them. I want to pray because I believe in my heart that something is going to happen to somebody's life this morning. Somebody say amen. Something is going to happen to your life this morning. Lift up your hand and begin to thank God for the word. Begin to thank God for the word. Lord, we thank you for the word. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Come on, come on, thank him, thank him. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, pray, pray, pray. For the ones who are sleeping, make sure that you stand up and we pray. Hallelujah. Pray, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Ma suvra anta ke balado sita baradesta. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Repetele lebo sakaya bababa. Manta cobra diga paladesta. Rosa cana libra manta liga bara de costa liga baya. Come on, thank God, thank God. Thank God in the name of Jesus. Thank God in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Move around and pray, pray, pray. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Zatatataraba Costa Ligaba. Oh, Maste Kebron de Kaba Lika Toza. Oh, Rapa Satatataraba Costa Ligabaya. Come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Maze Kotele Bramande Kobazaya. Lift up your hand and begin to pray. Lord, I desire your presence. I need your presence, oh God. Your manifest presence. Come on, pray, pray. Your presence. Your presence. Your presence. Your presence. Somebody is praying. Woman of God, pray. Man of God, pray. Younger man, pray. Mommy, pray. Encourage somebody to pray. Those ones who are sitting down, help them. Somebody encourage them, encourage them, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Help somebody, help somebody. Zobra de Kabale de Koza Talianda Vakaya. Zebalande Koza Taya. Oh, rapa pa 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 zaya, zele ba 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 costa vaina, rende costa liga bara de combres ke bela tata. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Some of you are asking God that He can again baptize you with a fresh hunger, a fresh passion for the things of God. Somebody pray right now. Lift up your hand and ask for the fresh passion. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, ask for the fresh fire. For the fresh fire. For the fresh grace. In the name of Jesus, 
Let there be a fresh grace. The Bible says my horn has been exalted as a unicorn and I've been anointed with fresh oil. Somebody pray. Oh, pray, pray. Younger men, pray. Ma woman of God, pray. Man of God, pray. Somebody pray. Hela ba 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 kasata. Sanda ba 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 ya ba ba ba. Leke ba 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 kosata. Manta taria ba ba bozaya. Leko bara de kombres kebeletete. Zaba ba ba ya ba 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 bora ba ba. Somebody pray. Pray like you mean it. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Baptize me afresh with a fresh hunger, with a fresh fire in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he makes his ministers the flames of fire. Come on, come on. Oh my God. Pray, pray, pray. Encourage somebody, move around. Encourage somebody. It's a time of prayer. Something is about to happen in your life. Ele bo sakata la baya rende costa liga bara de breke stefaya li baba baya andar raba bo saya le ko ba de ko ba de ko sata la baya mente te ko salia babaria randa la la babo sataya mante cobra diga bala de esta o ma se que te le le baba baya anda Lord, I worship you. Nasare anarusa, mera na etaya. la barra de cobra zeke tele baya rimando cobra zika pala de cobres que beletete zalika barra de cobres que belena zapa paria manda rara costa liga baya we give you praise lord we give you praise dear lord jesus we give you praise lord we give you praise lord and lord i want Lift up your hand be scold before the Lord. I worship you. One more time, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. worship you Lord I worship you I worship you Lord I worship you and Lord I worship you time limit. 
lift up and tell him, Lord, Lord, I worship oh, oh, you. I worship you, Lord, I worship you. One more time, tell him, Lord, I worship you, Lord, I And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long. And tell him you're saying, Come at him. Oh, and I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long.
Abian. Ashada Rababo Sakatalabai. Iraba, lift up your hand before him. Oh my God, I praise Prem, this is here. Ashala la baba kosa. Manta lega bara de costa liva handa. You see, listen. This morning, yeah, I just want, I, I, I want. Can, can help me to remove this for this thing. Yeah, remove, remove it. Okay. Hallelujah. I want some people, I want to pray with some people here. You came here and this morning you have heard the word. And you are saying, the word you have heard, you need, you need, you need God to do something in your life. Consecration. There is something you want God to put upon your life. I don't, I don't want, I want to come here. Please move quickly and come here. Move and come here. You're all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, way away. You are all that matters. Oh, way away. You are all fresh hunger. Let there be a fresh hunger. Let there be a fresh hunger. That some of these people here, they will live a life of consecration. After this place, they will begin to pray and fast. They will begin to seek you like never before. Give them the grace. Release it right now. Receive it right now. Many of you are receiving a fresh hunger, a fresh baptism of the hunger of God. You're going to love him like never before. And as you love him, oh my God, many of you, oh my, I'm just seeing fire landing on your spirit right now. Like it was in the day of Pentecost. The Bible, they, they appeared like tongues of fire. In the name of Jesus, receive right now. 
Receive it, receive it, receive it. Many of you are being, re you are receiving a fresh baptism of hunger. In the name of Jesus. 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 Because God is rising an army. And therefore you, you, need, you need a fresh hunger. Receive it right now. Receive it, receive it. Receive it right now. Just receive it. The presence of God is all over this place. The presence of God is here. We don't have to lay hands on you. The presence of God is all over this place. You open up here and take as much as you can. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a preacher here. There's an evangelist here. Your time has come. Receive the fire of God. You are going to see God like never before. Receive the grace right now. With that preacher, wherever you are, at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive the grace right now. Receive the grace right now. Oh my God, lift up and there's a fresh baptism of fire. There's a fresh one. There's a fresh one. Masuka bradege balataya. Sondo robo kosetele bayaba bazaya. Thank you, dear Lord. It's coming on you. It's coming on you. It's coming on you. It's coming on. There are some young girls here who are going to raise the banner in worship. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every worshiper here. Anybody who is called in the worship ministry. Right now, may the grace come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Take it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. There's a fresh grace being released right now. You'll never be the same young girl. Oh, zerebeto reba kusatarara. Rando vashata libra kando vaskida vaya. Mera do vakna ista valadena. Rosa pala de compres de veladina antavina. Shakla ibra anta kava dena rosa vila dosa vradina. Lera has to vade compra zika paladina. So zetena rosa valadina. Somebody you're here, God is opening your eyes, your spiritual eyes. Your spiritual eyes among these people who are in front here. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's going to be a spirit of wisdom and revelation. You're going to begin. God is opening your eyes that you can behold the wonderful things in the law, in the word of God. Right now as I'm talking, God is opening your eyes. God is opening your eyes. God is opening your eyes. Let them open. Let them open. Let them open. Let them open. In the name of Jesus. So Let your eyes open that you might behold the wonderful things in the law of the Lord. You behold the wonderful things in the law of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me bring me that young girl there. Kato vara de kores de veladina soja mina. Rosa pate legra inda soda braina sobra ande. Zato robo seke pradege baladia. There's a prophetic in this young girl. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Mesu vrahida la brahando kova zate. Ronde vele de heste veladina. Sobra manta kibra anta legra anda rabasha. Rosa paladesta paladina. Receive a fresh grace upon your life. Receive a fresh baptism of hunger in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a preacher here. God is anointing you very heavily. There's a preacher. I can hear it in my spirit. There's a preacher here. God is anointing you. There's a fresh hunger coming on you. There's a fresh. And you're going to move in miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. In the name of Jesus, the grace is coming on you. It's 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 a grace for miracles, signs, and wonders. They will follow you. 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 Even as I'm talking, you're feeling it in your hands. You feel like fire in your hands. You feel like fire in your hands. If you, you feel like fire in your hands, if you're the one you come and touch in my hand here, you feel the fire in your hands. You feel that fire in your hands. Come and I touch your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a healing anointing being released in your life. There's a miracle, signs and wonders that's going to follow your ministry. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, shadow of Rakesta Vande. Roda Vandri Gladesta Vradina. Rosa Braila Brando Kovataya. E Rosa Braanta Ligrahanda Kavadina. Rose Lebrosa Paradina. Rosa pra anta legra ande ligra de. Zelera usa libra manda ligra anta ligaba. E rosa tara bazaya. E rando livra kista varadina. In the name of Jesus. 
may it rest upon your life. May it rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. May it rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Maso krahida lavra anta kilavaya. Erova satana labozaya. In the name of Jesus. May it rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As a gracia. So brada kabala do sedeba. Randa valadisha tavradida. Andre kledevate kovra manta digava. Radava ila neste venia. Rose pra ila devandre kledeste. Rosa pra anta livra ade kuvra ante devaya. Raza lida ure zefra inta ligava. Oh my God. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, Holy Spirit. We give you glory. We give you honor, dear Lord Jesus. Oh, Ratavade, Orimande, Levra Costa Vina. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you the glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Last, I want to, I want to pray for worshippers. If you're here, you're a worshiper. Come here. If you're a worshiper, come. Just worship us alone now. Worship us alone. Quickly, quickly. If you're a worshiper, please worship us. Come. Let's do it quickly. Some of you are sitting. Come quickly. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. So brade kaba suta la baya. Rende vala de ste vara kista vara da. Sapatora biska vala de ste venataya. So bramanda ki bazo tayanda vara dia. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Can you join your hand with your neighbor and lift it up? Join your hand. Father, we give you the glory. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Father, may you release something upon these worshippers, Lord. May the grace come upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, may you take them deeper dimensions of your spirit. Draw them closer to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amongst them, Lord, may you raise prophetic worshippers. Amongst them, may you raise prophetic worshippers. In the name of Jesus. Prophetic worshippers who are going to lead by the Spirit of God. When the Holy Spirit leaves them, leads them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raise them. One of, one of you here, there's a prophetic worshiper here. There's a prophetic worshiper. God is releasing a prophetic upon your life. God will be leading you what songs to sing. So there's a prophetic worship coming upon your life. Receive it. Receive it. In fact, there are, there are two. There are two. God is releasing a prophetic worship upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Receive it. Beginning from today, the Holy Spirit is going to begin to lead you. Even in your worship ministry, it's going to lead you. It's going to lead you. Those two people who are receiving a prophetic worship, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a grace on you. There's a grace on you. Oh, sabra de ke balani shatatarianda varadis. Le comanda riba costa liga. Rete te tesorianta valadia. Mando vaquita stovaradina ele de este vea. Rando valadia va costa vana. Randa costa liga. In the name of Jesus. 
that prophetic, those prophetic worshipers, receive the grace. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May your doors of your doors of inspiration are opening right now. In the name of Jesus. Your doors of inspiration are opening right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even God will begin to give you new, new songs because you are a prophetic worshiper. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, rapate leke ronda kaba latata. Rosele paranda costa ligaba. Rege dege de. Randa la babazia. One of you here will give you the grace. There's a, there's, there's a grace to change an atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is upon your life. Sapa torianda kaba lady. Irraba tolia mandra kladista. Father, we give you the glory. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So brateke balados kabaradina. So bada handra kladista varadena. So bahanda rakos la diga bayadis. Zete te rebo kostete leba. Oh, may rivers flow. May rivers flow, my brother. In the name of Jesus. May rivers flow by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. So grande cabra de esta varadina. Rova tene mandra cladista. Rova sta varadina me crahanda satari prahada bosta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Ooh, we give you the praise for this grace, Lord, upon her life. This prophetic upon her life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. So grande cabra diza prahina stavaya. Maradada da costa ligaba. Father, we thank you for your grace. This one will never remain the same, O God. They'll never remain the same, O King of Glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. We give you the praise, O Lord. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you the praise, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for them. That the grace of God up there will multiply upon our lives. The Lord will separate them and cause to himself King of Glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as they worship, there will be healing virtue that will begin to flow through their lives. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you the glory. We bless your name, Holy Spirit. Because you're worthy and you're mighty. You're also a more King of Glory. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Somebody, so, listen, before I can sit down, somebody you are here, it's, there's a problem with your, with your stomach. There's a problem. It has been paining you for some time. It's like, it's like pricking you, pricking you. Come, I pray for you. Come, come, come. Your belly, your belly. Your belly. Your belly. Come. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you just, they just, no, no, don't, don't, just, just, just touch there, touch there yourself. With your hands, touch there. Both your hands. Both your hands. Lord, we pray for healing right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare healing upon her life right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May there be healing in her life. From the top of the head to sort of the feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. We declare healing even by your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke every attack in our life. 
come out of her belly right now. You free her by your spirit, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Man, can you breathe in? Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in again. 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 Out. Be free now. Be free now. Be free. Be free. Be free. We have a ma, 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 somebody come, come, come and lay hand on the hand of Mary. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. No more. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you the praise. No more. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. We bless your name and give you the glory because of your healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.